Hi, hello. Today I have a very different video. This is kind of like an Instagram inspired look. There was a lot of hype around this look on Instagram quite a while ago now, like a few months ago. But people are still doing it, I have seen it. So I thought I'd recreate one that I've seen on Instagram. No, no one in particular that I've seen, just everyone I have been inspired by. I love it, it is very nice. I used a new palette so you'll see what I used in the video. From what I can say, I absolutely loved it. The colours are absolutely amazing, they blended nicely and they are very pigmented. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. If you want to see how I created this look then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this like cloud makeup. I know it was like a trend like probably like a few months ago, but I want to create it. So yeah, I want to recreate it, not inspired by any in particular person, just Instagram alone. So yes. And I'm going to be using a new palette today. This is the Certify the Tropical Wonders palette. So it's like this, I got it off the link on Instagram, it looks stunning. I have to say I really like the pigmentation and the formula of these eyeshadows so far. Whilst doing this eye, as you should know, if you watch my videos you'll know that I like to do one eye first, just to get a hang of what I'm going to be doing and stuff like that. Hopefully it applies good on this eye too, but we'll see. There might be a change, you never know. So I'm just gonna get started. So for the base, I'm gonna be using the P. Louise base, of course, in the shade Zero, which is the white shade, as I want to get a nice white, like, cloud. So that is what I'm gonna do. You all know how to apply the base, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so jumping into the palette, I'm going to be taking a wide variety of shades. As you can tell, it is quite a colourful rainbow look. So I'm pretty much going to be taking every shade. The first shade I'm going to go in with is the blue shade. This is called Atlantic, which is this shade here. And I'm going to pop that in the inner part of the crease, just slowly building that up. But I'm not going to go too high with it. Okay, so then next I'm going to take the shade Swamp, which is a nice, like, mid-tone green. I really want to play with the mint shades in this palette, but I'm not going to today. I did do a, like, mint green, like, pastel-y kind of cut crease look. I will link it up in the eye up there, so you can check that out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then next I'm going to take the shade Sunray, which is this bright yellow shade. And I have to say, this is such a nice pigmented bright yellow. Because some palettes, they have yellows, but they're quite like dull and lifeless. But this one is actually really, really nice. I'm just going to blend that next to the green, as you can see. I'm not going too high with the colour, I'm just blending it up and out. Okay, so then after that yellow shade, I'm going to take the shade Red Sea, which is the bright red in the palette. Please ignore my nails, I need to sort them out. They're getting quite, like... 
iffy no and again i'm just going to pop that next to the yellow again this is a really nice shade it's very pigmented and as you can see it's very red which is great it doesn't come across too pinky toned but we're going to be adding a pink anyway okay so then next i'm going to take the bright pink which is called hibiscus i think so i'm just putting that pink a rounded kind of way next to that red this pink is so nice I think this is going to be my go-to like travel palette because it's like really light and it's also like quite small and it has a black in there and a white so that's a bonus okay so then lastly I'm gonna go in with what is it? Firefish strange name but it's like a pinky purpley mid-tone purple shade and i'm gonna go in the outer corner with this and blend it into that pink and the red i'm not gonna put too much of that shade because i want the pink to show so now for the difficult part so I'm gonna do the cloud so what I'm gonna do is get a little bit of the P. Louise base in the shade zero on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take like a smaller flat brush than what I used before so I used this shape and now I'm gonna use this shape so there is quite a difference hopefully you can see that just to get a little bit more of a precise look Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. So now I'm going to take White Fall, which is the white shade in the palette, and I'm just going to go over exactly where I just placed the white base. Um, the birds have just begun. Okay, so after that, I'm just going to add a little bit of a darker purple on the outer corner just to blend the white into the corner but first I think I'm gonna go back in with that firefish the like pinky purpley shade just to blend that in again now I'm gonna go in with starling starling which is the like dark purple shade and I'm going to pat this on the outer corner now what I'm going to do like I did on this eye I'm going to take the red and then the yellow just to you know add a little bit of depth into the look I don't know why I keep going but yeah I'm going to add the red Red Sea and the Sun Ray, which is the yellow, and blend them together. Savannah, 
Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the white, the white liner. So I created these like star kind of things, but the only thing is it cracks, which is such a pain in my ass. We'll see what happens. I'm going to use the NYX white liner, not the best, like I just said, it crack, cracks, but we'll see what happens. People feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way. Birds jumping and I hear my name. Grasping and so we love. Life is happy, but it's so insane. We must merely make a strive. Savannah. So next I'm going to take some black eyeliner, I'm going to take a liquid black liner and a pencil one. So I'm going to put the pencil in my upper waterline and then the liquid liner I'm going to take on the top and I'm going to do the tiniest line just so it hides my lash band. And that is it for the eyes at the moment. I'm just going to clean up under my eyes because I don't want any fallout staying on my face. Okay, so now on to the face. Okay, so for primer, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Lumi Majig primer. I'm not sure if they still sell this, but they do a illuminating base now, which is pretty much exactly the same. So I'm going to apply this on my face. I think the new one is slightly more like pink, but I like I prefer this one because I don't like it too pink toned. I'm going to take that on a duo fibre brush to blend that out. The beauty of the world, Savannah. Let's all take a walk. Savannah. I'm coming Savannah. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with the Morphe foundation. I reviewed this on my channel the other day and I thought I'd give it another go. I did like it, but I want a more like glowy look because it is quite a matte foundation. So I'm gonna try it with the illuminating base and like, you know, do my face up a bit more, uh, if that makes sense. So I will link the review up there in the eye just so it's easy for you guys to access. So I'm going to take the shade F1.50, it's quite a neutral, kind of warm kind of shade, kind of, kind of. I'm going to place this on my face. This foundation does have quite a strong scent to it, so if you don't like the smell of kind of like paint, then you ain't going to like this. I'm just going to use my sponge for this because I did enjoy the look. Morning sun, searching for a longer day. People feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way. Birds chirping and I hear my name. Grasping to a love. Life is happy, but it's so insane. We must merely make a strive. Okay, so next I'm also going to be using the new Morphe concealer in the shade C C1.55 155. It is quite a like peachy kind of tone. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand, see if it oxidizes. But I'm going to place this under my eyes. See, it's not very brightening. Okay, so it's not as brightening as I like normally. But again, I'm going to blend that out with a sponge. The light is gone and come. 
The birds have just begun We will always take a step Okay, so the powder I'm gonna go in with is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 05 Fair. Actually, before I do that, before I forget, I'm gonna go in with a highlighter, liquid highlighter. This is the Jeffree Star Liquid Frost Highlighter in the shade Frostbite, so it's quite a light shade. So I'm gonna dab this right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with powder. So like I said, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm gonna put it on the back of my sponge. I'm not gonna put too much because I do want it to be glowy. Now for contour, I'm gonna take the Revolution and Imagination palette, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Literally, which is this shade here. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Benefit Rocketeur blush. This is just the sample size. Must never stop the way, yeah. but now I'm gonna take the powder again, and I'm just going to powder under that line. So we must merely make a start. Okay, so to set my face, I'm going to take the MAC Fix Plus, but this is the gold light one, which has like gold shimmer in there. I don't know if you can see. It's stunning. So I'm going to spray that on my face. Oh, love the smell of Fix Plus. Oh, shit. It's in white bloody bake off. I always do this. Now for highlights, I'm gonna take the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight because it has like a soft pinky vibe to it and placing that on top of where we put the Jeffree Star Liquid Highlighter. See it just adds a pink to the highlighter. Okay, so that is the face done. I'm gonna go off camera and do my eyebrows and put my eyelashes on and stuff. And I'll be back to do the lower lash line and the lips, so I'll be back. Okay, so please ignore my lashes. I cut them a little bit too short, so they're looking a bit iffy. Okay, so I've just taken the lash off because I wasn't happy where it was. So whilst that's drying, I'm gonna go back into the palette First I'm going to take the pink shade, so this one here, Hibacus, I don't know. And I'm going to put this like on the outer part of my eye. Again, okay, really smoking that out. I'm actually really liking this uh, Morphe foundation. It has gone into my like small lines and shit, but it looks fine. Every foundation does that to me, to be honest. So I'm just going to apply these. Okay, so that looks a little bit better, but whatever, it's too late now to cut them, you know. Okay, so then next, okay, so then next I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the darker purple we took, so Starling, this one here, and I'm going to put that closer to the lash line. <laughs> Oh, 
Then I'm going to take the blue, which is this shade here. I'm just going to put that in the inner portion of my eye. Really, really like this palette. Such a good, colourful palette. Next, I'm going to go in the waterline with the Colourpop pencil liner in Punch, which is a bright yellow shade. Now I'm going to put some NYX Glitter Glue in the inner corner and I'm going to go in with the Peaches and Cream Pigment in Mummies. I think it's called Mummies. Really nice like dual chrome white glitter. Not glitter, it's like a pigment. Put that in the inner corner. Yes. Peaches and cream are coming through with the pigments lately. Then I'm just going to add a lower lash mascara. Okay, so lastly is lips. So I'm not sure whether to go in with oak or strip down. I'm going to go in with strip down, I think, by MAC. Lips are so dry. I could crack my lips are. Ugh. And then I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colours Undressed Lip Gloss, which is a very like pale nude. By the way, the lashes I used are the Eden Lashes in E08. I have cut them a little bit too short, unfortunately, but that's my fault. But these lashes are really stunning. Okay, so that is it. That is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. I really like this look. It's very different. It's very, like, artistic in a way. If you do like it, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. I will link a few videos up there relevant to this one. Everything I use will be in the description box below, so you can go check them out and easily access everything. And yeah, I love to see the moon back, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.